Hello, we're going to attempt a question from the textbook, the Year 2 Pure Maths textbook. This is from Exercise 11J, and it's question 7. We're doing differential equations. In this case, we're expected to use the boundary conditions to get the particular solution in the form y equals. So looking at this question, I have x's and y's in a big mix. I know that I need to go through and separate the variables so that all the x's are on one side and all of the y's are on the other. I'm going to do that in two steps, which I'll just demonstrate. Firstly, I factorise the right-hand side. Secondly, I've rearranged so that the y's are on one side, the x's are on the other. Now I'm going to separate the variables and at this point split the dy by the x, introducing the integration signs. So now we've got two separate integrations to complete, the left-hand side and the right-hand side. I'm going to consider the right hand side first and to do that we're going to just look at a new page. So I've uh, brought that answer back to my original thing. So the integral of x over 1 plus x squared is a half ln 1 plus x squared plus c. Um, of course c could equally be written as ln of k which might be useful for later when we come to uh, put numbers into this. Now I need to look at the left hand side. So I'll go to a new page again and consider the integral of 1 over 1 minus y squared. So at this stage I can see that on both sides of my equation there is a factor of a half and I'd like to introduce replace c with ln k so I'm going to rewrite. And now we remember that and our boundary conditions were given if x equals 0 y equals 2 I'm going to substitute those in to calculate my value of k. Okay, there's a slightly worrying thing here. We're looking at ln of minus 1, and we know that ln of minus 1 doesn't exist. However, the straight lines mean the mod of, so this is in fact the ln of 1, which is 0. So we have ln 3 minus ln 1, which is 0, equals ln 1, which is 0, plus k, plus ln k, so k equals 3. So I can rewrite this equation the one that we had um, with k. Right, so using laws of logs, I can rewrite this into a simpler form. Basically, I want both sides to be single logs so that I can remove them using e to the power of. Okay, which is nice. And now we get uh, 1 plus y over 1 minus y equals 3 uh, times 1 plus x squared. As you can see, I've expanded the brackets at that stage. Now we need to rewrite this so it says y equals, given in the early part of the question, it said that we had to give the answer in the specific form shown, y equals some function. So there's still algebra to do. Multiply both sides by 1 minus y. So the first thing we're going to notice is that this is equal to, well, the bottom of this is, is a difference of two squares, so I'll rewrite it in that form. And now we are clearly going to need to use some partial fractions in order to get the solution, uh, or to make it integratable in the first place. We can recognise that it's partial fractions because it's a pair of um, factors on the bottom which don't have anything in common with the top if we differentiate. So... We can see that that's rewritten. I can take out a factor of a half here and put that outside the brackets, hopefully to simplify the working. So I'm going to do that. And now we can see these are fairly straightforward integrations because it's 1 over y, well, 1 over 1 plus y, so we're going to use ln. And for the second part of it, we need to remember that it's times by the differential at the bottom, which will give us a minus. I think that's completed, so we'll go back and put that into our differentiation uh, into our integration on the first page. Okay, so I'm considering the 
um, fraction 1 over 1 minus x, 1 plus x, and I'm writing that as partial fractions, a over 1 minus x plus b over 1 plus x. Then, which one of these is play? Who knows? All right, we're playing. Great. Therefore, we know that 1 is equal to a times 1 plus x plus b times 1 minus x. We want to make one of the brackets equal 0, so let x equal 1. And so that would give us 1 equals 2a. And so a equals a half. And b must also equal a half. By comparing the um, coefficients, which then, which then means that we can rewrite f of x as follows. 1 over 2, 1 minus x, plus 1 over 2, 1 plus x. Take that back to our integration and work from there. So we've got the integral of x over 1 plus x squared. This we should be recognising as a standard pattern, i.e. we can see that if we differentiate the 1 plus x squared, the denominator of this fraction, we would get 2x. 2x is strongly related to the top of the fraction, x. It's a big clue. So we would probably want to consider using ln of x, uh, sorry, ln of 1 plus x as the thing that we're going to try to reverse differentiate. So I've uh, considered ln of 1 plus x squared. If we differentiate this, we'll need to use the chain rule. So going through the steps of the chain rule, let u equal 1 plus x squared. So if we differentiate, we get du dx equals 2x. Um, doing the substitution, y equals ln u, which if you differentiate gives you dy du is 1 over u. So now we're going to smash them together using the chain rule, which gives us dy by dx equals 2x times 1 over u, which simplifies to 2x over 1 plus x squared, which is very close to the original thing we wanted. So we can see that this on the right hand side, sorry, the left hand side up here, the right hand side of our original equation will equal a half of ln 1 plus x squared. Or